we can follow a rate of reaction by looking at it. Here we're going to be doing an experiment where we're looking at how the rate of reaction changes when we change the size of the marble chip. And we're going to be doing that by collecting gas. So you'll see over here we have a conical flask with our hydrochloric acid in. We're going to put a bung in the top and then the delivery tube which is here is going to be fed into a measuring cylinder. Now this is quite tricky because... You need to have a lot of people involved. As soon as those marble chips are in, it's going to start reacting. Gas is start, going to start being released. So you're going to need to collect, start collecting it as soon as possible. Now you'll notice here that the measuring cylinder starts not at zero. This is fine just as long as you measure where it starts. Now you can either time how much gas is released in a certain amount of time, or you can see how much gas is released in total. But the important things are that you only change one thing. So, if you're changing the size of the marble chips, you have to make sure the mass of the marble chips that you use is the same. Now here we were timing it for a minute, so after a certain amount of time has passed, you can just measure off the amount on the measuring cylinder and subtract that from where it started. Moving on to slightly smaller marble chips here, and you'll notice that the measuring cylinder is full up completely this time. Now with smaller marble chips, we're gonna have a larger surface area available to react. That means more particles are going to be available to collide with, and we are going to expect a faster rate of reaction. And this is exactly what we can see here. The bubbles are coming through a lot faster. Again, you can measure this for a certain amount of time or you can measure it in total until it stops reacting. Moving on to powdered marble chips now and this is going to react quite vigorously because we have a very very large surface area available and what you'll notice that we do is we actually switch over measuring cylinders halfway through because it reacts so so quickly that one measuring cylinder just fills up pretty much straight away. Once you have your data for this you can plot a really really nice graph but this is a great way of measuring a rate of reaction in something where a gas is released. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you want to say thank you or if you want access to my online classroom priority video requests or to deal the books I'm publishing, you can pop over to Conos or keep up to date with everything on my website. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. And if you follow me on Twitter or like me on Facebook, you'll get all the updates there. Thanks for watching guys. I really hope you found this helpful. Anything else you need, any other help you need, just let me know below.